Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing with the Halloween series. So we've already done our Boo Ghost hair bow and we've done our little pumpkin. And last week we did our black cat. And today we are going to do our spider. I'm going to use the double pinch bow again just the bottom part of the loops and the tails. I'm sticking to the same sort of size bow. So these are all around four inches. This one obviously comes out a little bit bigger because the ghost sticks out the side. But these two are both the double layer pinch bow. On this one, I used both of the layers. On this one, I just used the bottom loops, which I'm going to do the same today, but I used some ribbon under my cat. And on this one, I used a different bow, but I used the spiky tails and with the ghost sticking out the side I knew that I'd make it a slightly bigger anyway but I'm sticking to the same size so I can advertise these all on Etsy as so like you can choose which bow you want on one listing to save putting up multiple listings so that is why I'm using roughly the same size for each of my Halloween bows I'm going to be using black and purple chunky glitter and I've also got a roll of tulle. This is a six inch wide roll or 15 centimetre wide roll of tulle. I used to buy these in the rolls like this because I make the tutu dresses but I keep these now because they are not only for the tutu dresses but they're handy for the bows as well and I'm using a plain white not the glitter one because I want I want it plain to resemble like a spider web. So I'm using a bit of this today and I've also got this ribbon which is white with the black spider web print on so I thought that would tie the glitter and the white tool that will tie it all together. So taking my tail template and my pen I'm going to do the tail in purple so I'm going to draw around my templates and then cut them out and like I said in the last tutorial when that comes to this part because there's a half of I shall draw around half of the loop flip it over then draw the other half was so all one piece and I cut it out so I'm going to do that now on these two so the purple for the tails and the black for the loops So here they are cut out, I'm going to set them aside for a moment and then I've cut a piece of my white tool from the roll and I have cut this, it's three and a half inches wide or nine centimetres wide and I've cut it to 36 centimetres in length or just over 14 inches in length and what I'm going to do is line it long ways down on my table it's quite hard to see so I've laid it long ways here I'm going to start folding it I want it around a little bit more narrower than this so I'm just gonna fold it just a bit more narrower than my loops so I folded it about this wide and my loops were just about that wide I'm going to do that along the whole of the length just keep folding it over I'm just going to pop the scissors on there to weigh it down so it don't go anywhere and I'm going to grab a needle and some thread and I'm going to knot it at the end. So I've got my needle and thread and I've done a good triple knot in the end there because obviously with tulle you can lose the end of it. I'm just going to trim off this little excess overhang. I'm 
and then I'm just going to find the middle which is there and I'm going to start sewing a pinch across the middle so there's one two three four five six seven eight and then I'm going to pull that all the way through to the knot and then wrap that around a few times And then on the underside, I'm just going to seal it off. Slip that through the loop there just to form a knot. I'll cut this loop piece as well so we don't want any cotton sticking out. In there on a finished hair bow. So this is what it looks like. Now you can leave it like this or if you want you can just trim these edges to even them up. Now I've got these scissors which have got a zigzag finish and I'm going to cut these edges just trim them down slightly just to give them a rough edge because I want this to resemble sort of a spider web. And it is a Halloween bow after all, so you don't want it too neat, you want it to look, have a little bit of edge to it. See that just gives that a little bit of a nice finish, gives it a little bit of a different effect on there. I'm going to do the same with the other side. like that and now we're ready to form our loops on our bow so I've just set that aside taken my hot glue gun which is warmed up I'm going to place a little bit of glue on either end of those tabs and bring those into the centre going to set them aside also and then getting our tails and the spiderweb print ribbon. I'm just going to measure across how long I want it. So I want it roughly around the same length as the tails. So I'm going to cut three pieces. I'm doing the similar design to what I did in my last bow with, the, with this ribbon and the tails. three pieces and now I'm going to fold fold it lengthways I've got a piece of tool stuck to my finger and I'm going to cut that into a V shape and then let off that pinch so I don't bond them together when I use my lighter and just heat seal those ends and I'm going to repeat that on all of these ends of this ribbon. those ends. Again taking my hot glue gun I'm going to start layering these on my bow. So I'm just going to fold this in half to find the centre, pop some hot glue on that centre mark and then lay that diagonally across my tails and then I'm going to cross this one over Do the same thing, find the centre, pop on the glue, cross that 
that over so they can show us the same distance. And then the last one is going to go directly across the centre, straight. we can stick our tails on So I've already pre-lined a 45 millimetre clip and some black one centimetre wide ribbon. I'm just going to place that underneath my bow, my tails. And now we can add our little tool bow. So on this underside, well actually I'm going to put it on my bow because see where I'm putting it then without burning my fingers and be careful when you pop your tool bow on there because that is sheer you can get some glue seep through I'm just going to line that up on top of my black glitter bow To use another little piece of this. So I'm just going to cut the length off around 11 12 centimeters. And I'm just going to heat seal the ends and we're going to wrap that around the center of our bow. And flip that upside down. off the excess ribbon. This is what you've got so far. And now we can stick on our little spider, or big spider, should I say? He's quite a big spider, he is. I'll just show you the size of him. He is just over two inches, or around two inches across, five centimeters, and about the same in height. He's around five and a half centimetres in height, so he's a good size. So I'm going to place some hot glue on my spider. You could put him at an angle, but I'm going to put him straight. You could put him at an angle if you wanted, like that. I'm going to stick him on my bow straight. And that is that. There is your finished spider Halloween hair bow. So it's another one to add to the Halloween series. I've got a playlist now. It is with all the Halloween stuff in. So if you want to look at all the Halloween bows, they're all in a separate playlist now. So it's easier to find. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. 
If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below and I'll always do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye bye.